Here's your wrestling news for March 5th, 2021. And your headlines for today include major fan speculation surrounding AEW's mystery signing. Five to six big names are floating around. Title match announced for WWE Fastlane. Women's Tag Team Championship match announced for WWE Fastlane. AEW Revolution match stipulation is a direct shot at Vince McMahon. Bobby Lashley wants a woman in the Hurt Business. WWE wrestlers Instagram hacked. WWE nixed big title change on Road to WrestleMania. Jey Uso on Jimmy's WWE return. Yet another incredible transformation of a WWE wrestler and more. We're starting with AEW and fan speculation has been running rampant ever since Paul White promised a huge name will be signed to a multi-year contract at this Sunday's Revolution pay-per-view. White broke the news that a Hall of Fame worthy star will be debuting this Sunday, describing them as the biggest scoop ever, whilst Tony Khan called them a huge, huge star. Lofty words to say the least, AEW are doing a masterful bit of promoting and creating interest in their first pay-per-view of 2021, though now the pressure is on for the newest signing to live up to the hype. AEW came through in a big way three months ago when Sting debuted, so this signing of a huge star will have to be on a similar level, meaning fans probably shouldn't expect the likes of Ryback or Gene Snitsky this Sunday. White saying it's someone Hall of Fame worthy implies that it's someone not in WWE's Hall of Fame already, which doesn't exactly narrow it down too much. After all, megastars like The Rock, John Cena, Brock Lesnar, and CM Punk haven't been inducted, though those first two names don't seem like realistic possibilities. As for Lesnar and Punk, they are possible, but appear to be long shots at best. Lesnar's position in WWE since his return, including many lengthy title reigns without being there, have made him the antithesis of what AEW reportedly stands for, namely being an alternative to WWE, so fans shouldn't expect him, though he remains a possibility. As for Punk, he made his feelings clear on Twitter recently as he started a Q&A but ended his tweet saying, no, it's not me. Of course, some fans have seen this as proof that Punk is AEW bound, and to be fair, AEW actually has two mystery people showing up at Revolution, the newest signing and the sixth wrestler in their face of the Revolution ladder match. If Punk is ruling out being the mystery signing, then he could still theoretically be the sixth ladder match participant, and we can't rule out that he's swerving everyone, a pastime we know the former world champion likes to do with the fans. Another popular theory is that Dave Batista is the new signing, especially after Paul White called the Revolution event Evolution, the name of the stable Batista found fame in, alongside Triple H, Ric Flair, and Randy Orton. The Animal is a Hall of Fame-worthy star, given that he was supposed to headline the Hall of Fame in 2020 before the ongoing situation stopped all plans. When one fan asked him about joining AEW, the Animal responded, they're going to have to come up with another word that's used specifically for professional wrestlers who actually mean it when they say they're retired. Currently, the word retired has zero credibility by professional wrestling standards. As a recognizable name thanks to WWE and his movie career, AEW signing Batista would be a huge coup, and it's conceivable that AEW could work around his movie schedule for pay-per-views and the occasional TV appearance. AEW has promised big names in the past and has delivered, with signings like Sting, John Moxley, and Paul White, so they don't want to risk bringing a curtain jerker or a name fans don't really care about. Dave Meltzer has said that what fans are looking for is an ex-WWE guy who has a name and has been around for a while, but didn't give out any possible names. Whilst Christian isn't a WWE Hall of Famer, he's certainly worthy, and though he ticks all the right boxes, he won't be the mystery man. Wrestling Inc. reports that Christian has signed an actual deal with WWE, meaning his 2021 Royal Rumble appearance wasn't just a one-off, and though we don't know how WWE will use him, we know he won't be joining AEW. It's possible that White's comment about a Hall of Fame-worthy signing could mean that they are a Hall of Famer, as by definition, someone in the WWE Hall of Fame is Hall of Fame-worthy. That opens up the possibility of signings such as Kurt Angle or Bret Hart, the latter of whom debuted the AEW World Title at Double or Nothing 2019. It could even be someone out of the blue like Ken Shamrock, Kane Velasquez, Scott Steiner, or Rob Van Dam, though not all of these names fit the hype AEW has promised. 
That's not a dig at those names or the fans who have suggested them, but given how much AEW has promised with their new signing, we reckon Tony Khan will struggle to deliver on the hype if Brock Lesnar or CM Punk doesn't sign on the dotted line this Sunday. Though Angle is an undisputed legend of wrestling and a Hall of Famer, we're not sure if he can truly be considered the biggest scoop for the company, especially after his mediocre last run in WWE. White never confirmed if the signing will wrestle, so names like Bret Hart or Mick Foley are possible, though we reckon fans are expecting someone that can have a handful of matches. Perhaps Sean Waltman could be the company's next signing, and while there's plenty of people who would like that, including John Moxley, signing the former 123 Kid isn't exactly, quote, the biggest scoop ever. If we're to consider all possibilities, it's even possible that White is trolling the fans, starting his inevitable first heel turn in AEW. Simply put, there's no way we can determine the identity of the mystery signing, as it could be anyone from Adam Bomb to Zodiac. And it is fun to dig up names from the past and decide if they could ever join AEW. But what do you think? Do you believe AEW have set expectations too high? Or will they be able to deliver at Revolution? Who would you like to see in AEW amongst all the possible names? And more importantly, who do you think they signed? Let us know in the comments. Over to WWE and at Fastlane 2021, fans will see a rematch for the Women's Tag Team Championships. On Twitter, WWE announced that Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler will defend their titles against SmackDown Women's Champion Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair in a rematch from Elimination Chamber. If successful, it wouldn't be the first time that WrestleMania opponents entered the grandest show of them all as tag champions, as John Cena and Shawn Michaels did just that in 2007 for WrestleMania 23. It's interesting to see WWE do an exact rematch from their pay-per-view last month with not even the stipulation change, and we'll have to see if it's second time's the charm for the boss and the EST of WWE. More from AEW as this Sunday's pay-per-view will feature a huge six-man ladder match with the winner earning himself an AEW TNT title match down the line. We already know that Cody Rhodes, Scorpio Sky, Penta, Lance Archer, and Max Caster will be in the match, and on AEW Unrestricted, Tony Khan revealed that the sixth participant will only be announced during the event. What's more interesting is that Khan confirmed that rather than documents or a briefcase as in other ladders for a title opportunity, the six wrestlers will fight to capture a literal brass ring. This is, of course, a dig at Vince McMahon, who spoke about a brass ring during his appearance on Steve Austin's podcast, which has been used by many wrestlers who have had unfavorable things to say about the chairman. In his infamous pipe bomb from 2011, CM Punk even spoke about McMahon's imaginary brass rings, and it seems AEW once again couldn't help but taking a shot at the competition. But what do you think of this decision by AEW? Is this literal brass ring juvenile, or are they right to take another shot at WWE? Sound off in the comments. Back to WWE, and given Bobby Lashley's championship win this week, the Hurt Business has cemented itself as one of the greatest factions in modern history. Having held the WWE, United States, 24-7, and Raw Tag Team titles in the 10 months it's been around, the stable led by MVP has been dominant, but there's always room for growth. Speaking to Complex, Lashley spoke of plans for the group, saying, I'll throw this out. Is there a female that's going to join the group? We thought about that. We have some definite names, and if we did go that route, I think we're all in agreement of who we would love to have a part of us. Lashley didn't specify who the names they've considered are, but it's interesting that we could soon see a female member added to the stable. Whoever it is, they could probably benefit by joining the Hurt Business, and after dominating both the men's singles and men's tag divisions on Raw, it may be a matter of time before the Hurt Business adds women's gold to their collection. Speaking of champions, United States Champion Riddle knows what it's like to get a win over Lashley, but he's dealing with his own issues on social media. On Twitter, the original bro let fans know that his Instagram account has been hacked and that the site's support team isn't really helping. Given that Riddle's posts on Instagram showed no signs of a hack, it sounds like the US champion was able to get ahead of this problem before it got out of hand, and hopefully the hacker wasn't able to do a lot of damage while they had access to his account. WrestleMania 37 is now just 36 days away, and the company has had to change plenty of plans along the way. That's according to Fightful Select, who reported that at Elimination Chamber, the plan was for Lacey Evans to dethrone Asuka and become Raw Women's Champion until Evans' pregnancy ended those plans. 
Even without Evans, Asuka's future as Raw Women's Champion is in doubt given her recent injury, and time will tell who makes it to WrestleMania with the gold. Though Evans' pregnancy caused WWE to change all their plans and it shocked fans, one person who wasn't surprised is the sassy Southern Belle herself. While speaking on the Bella Twins podcast, Evans revealed that she and her husband were trying to have another baby for months, but tests kept coming back negative. She added, Vince has this idea with the whole storyline. I was like, alright, everything has been negative, I'll get back in the game. Sure enough, Sunday at 8.15, I said I'll just continue to take pregnancy tests for obvious reasons. Sunday at 8.15 it was positive, and it was one week to the day of Elimination Chamber. I was like, this is great, but damn it, there's guilt. Now, if the sassy Southern Belle is to ever become Raw Women's Champion, she'll need to wait at least nine months to do so, whilst Asuka continues to hold the title WWE didn't plan on her keeping. Though Evans will be gone from the ring for the rest of the year, Jimmy Uso will reportedly be back very soon. In an interview with Rick Uchino, Jey Uso spoke about his brother's injury and said that the Uso Penitentiary will be opening again very soon. Jimmy has been out of action for nearly a year now, though appeared briefly last year during Jey Uso's feud with Roman Reigns, and now that both men are on the same side, it'll be interesting to see where Jimmy's allegiances lie on the road to WrestleMania. We're looking ahead to tonight's SmackDown, as Fastlane opponents will face off in just a matter of hours. It's been announced that Bianca Belair will face Shayna Baszler tonight on a show that will also feature Jey Uso vs Daniel Bryan in a steel cage match. If Bryan wins, then he'll face Universal Champion Roman Reigns at Fastlane, but if he loses, he must acknowledge Reigns as the Tribal Chief, the head of the table, and the best wrestler on the planet. The stakes have never been higher for Bryan, and win or lose, the landscape of the Fastlane pay-per-view will change during tonight's edition of SmackDown. And we're ending today with Braun Strowman who has once again wowed fans with his incredible physique. In an Instagram post, the former Universal Champion showed off his lean and muscular physique, a huge difference to how he looked just a few years ago, and also spoke of a back injury in 2015 that nearly ended his career. He explained that he still struggles with his left leg thanks to the 2015 injury, and at the time, there were fears he'd never walk again. Thankfully, Strowman has not just walked, but mowed down opposition, culminating in becoming Universal Champion last year. And whilst his rumored WWE title pursuit in December 2020 was put on hold thanks to an injury he suffered at Survivor Series, it appears that Strowman will be working to a feud with Shane McMahon and an eventual match at WrestleMania. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.